finally, for those of you who have purchased the Green Stock Planter. I've got a couple of them and I love them and in fact they're really working out well uh, during this transitional period in my life because I have a garden space but it's small and I still really want to grow a lot of stuff because I'm on a budget and I want to control what goes into my body and part of that is being able to grow my own food. So the green stock planters, if you don't already know, can grow a lot of food in a limited space and it's really easy. You know, less soil, uh, less watering, uh, more produce, space-wise, it's movable, it's sturdy, and it's affordable. So invest in yourself and invest in your sustainability and that's what I'm doing. Uh, but this video is going to walk you through um, how I use the green stock planter and how I actually implement the Back to Eden garden method in the planter. All right, let's get started. So let's start with basically filling up the planter. Now this is going to be my best advice. The planter needs to be filled according to what you're going to grow. Now I've got my green stock planted with my early season greens and as you see they're coming up already. I've got my spinach and I've got my kale and all that wonderful stuff. These are shallow obviously uh, root systems so when I started um, early in the season I did not fill up my planters that far with the soil. You, you, you just don't because they're going to grow up. And I planted the seeds, dispersed them out just like you would in a regular container or in, in a garden, right? You just spread them out and then they grow. Now, if you are looking at doing something different like potatoes or any uh, root vegetables like parsnips or carrots, you're going to have to fill that green stalk planter up to the rim way way up to the top I'd say just uh, probably about two inches before the top because you're going to need that space in that container for the growth of your vegetable now we are going to be planting and you're not going to believe this but I'm going to be planting zucchini and squash and I've got watermelon yes you can actually plant vine vine vegetable plants in a green stock planter. All right, I'm going to show you how to do it. Uh, so the first thing, now the trick with these planters, or really any planter, is I recommend filling the bottom, because these are not deep rooted vegetables, right? You're going to fill the bottom with something that's going to take up space. Natural organic, right? And for me, it's wood chips because I have access to all these beautiful wood chips. If you don't have access to wood chips, then you can fill it with mulch. You can fill it with duff. You can fill it with, um, you know, even rotted wood. And sometimes I have filled planters up with just gravel. If you've got just gravel, you can do that. Now, you know, gravel is going to be heavy. You're not going to be moving that planter around. So you want to try to stick with something maybe a little lighter. But, you know, worst case scenario, sometimes people don't have access to this. So you got to make it work, right? But it is important to fill up that bottom space because it is actually going to help facilitate really good drainage. All right. And these drain good anyway. But Every time you put soil in a container, it's going to compact. You remember that. And by doing this, it is going to just help facilitate a little bit better drainage than just having all that soil. So this is what I do. I fill that bottom up. And then I take into consideration what type of plant that I'm, I'm doing. And because we are doing squash, I want to probably go about so uh, just a little bit under a half of the container, all right? Now, filling these containers up, what type of soil? Conventional containers, yes, I recommend specific container soil. It's light, it's loomy, it's airy, it's got fertilizer built in. And you can certainly use them for your green stock planters. But what I have been doing, because I do have access to a garden here, and that's my space over there, is I have been filling it up with the garden soil. This is what I did when I was on the homestead. I used the Back to Eden garden soil that I had in the garden. 
and it worked well because these containers drain so well they're self watering there's so much space in there that they're just not like a conventional container okay you gotta wrap your mind around around this there's a reason why these vertical containers and specifically green stock is so successful because they allow you to have a lot of different options and if you can use garden soil oh wow it's awesome especially when you've got good garden soil so I'm gonna go and dig a little bit of soil out of my back to Eden garden over there and fill up my container so there is my garden soil from my new back to Eden garden and it's gonna go right into that green stock planter now you're going to fill it up not all the way to the brim but you're gonna fill the container up because this is the thing with zucchini and your in your cucumbers and your squash uh, those are heavy you know the vines are heavy so you need some solid weight there now trust me these planters when they are filled up there is they're solid as a rock they 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 lock together they're not gonna tip over trust me they're not gonna tip over when you see how solid when you see how solid and well built these planters are I mean this is not this is not chinzy this is not an Aldi's planter this is not a Walmart planter this is not a knockoff Japanese planter American made my friends it's made well fill that baby up just to maybe about uh, four inches and then we are going, you know, actually I'm going to do my, I think this is spaghetti, zucchini. We're going to do our zucchini right in there. Now, when you're planting, you're going to keep the plant on the outside because what's going to happen is you want that to get the sun and it's going to grow outward like this and that root system, whatever root system it's going to be, it's going to grow down and so that's where the space comes in where your roots are going to spread out. But you can put that plant right in these corners here got to trust me on this one and they're going to grow and then you can stack it all right and then if you have access if you have access to wood chips the layering applies to these planters once you get your plant planted then you are going to take your wood chips and you are going to start layering it red right on top of that soil okay just like that All right. Now remember, don't be shy about putting zucchini or any of those viney plants in in their little pocket corners, all right? Once you decide how many plants you want to use for your your one tier, then don't be afraid about adding another tier and another tier and another tier. This is a stackable planter once you get your plants firmly established and when they're probably about this big they're ready to be stacked now you don't do this when they're just starting from seed you keep them unstacked until they grow up until they're probably about this height and then you can start stacking because they really do need to get established you need full sun you need that that base of that plant sprouting up and that way once you stack them then they will still have exposure to the sun and they'll start reaching out okay and then when you stack them that self watering system is going to trickle down one on top of another on top of another and feed these plants pretty cool isn't it you can have just as much produce square foot as a lot of this garden it's the truth you really can and there's no weeding and the watering is easy and it takes less soil less time less everything all right I really hope man I hope this tutorial helped get you guys started and I want to show you um, I'm going to be stacking this. Here's my salary. All right, we got some salary going here, and you see how I kept them at the edge. Once I stack, that salary is going to start growing out that way and reaching for the sun. All right, they they reach, and I've got right now salary going. I've got my zucchini plants going. I've got my tomato plants.